Welcome back. April 3rd, National Chocolate Mousse Day. We love chocolate mousse, and especially when you make it yourself. I haven't made chocolate mousse in a long, long time, but I'm looking forward to trying this new version that I found today. It's only about, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven ingredients, eight ingredients. So it's nice and easy. It's going to come together fast, and it's going to chill in the fridge about two hours, and then we're going to have some chocolate mousse. So I'm looking forward to it today, okay? So let's get started, I'll show you what you need. Okay, for our chocolate mousse today, we need three quarter cups of chilled heavy cream divided, four large egg yolks, a quarter cup of espresso or strong coffee at room temperature, three tablespoons of sugar divided, an eighth of a teaspoon of kosher salt, six ounces of semi-sweet chocolate, preferably 60 to 72 percent cocoa, and two large egg whites. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is take our heavy cream. We're going to use a half a cup. I know I said three quarters of a cup divided. First part that you're going to use is a half a cup in your mixer. I had my bowl in the fridge, so it's nice and cold. We're doing the whipped cream thing. We've done it a bunch of times on this show. I also have a pot of water boiling here, because so I'm going to do my double boiler technique for the for the eggs and stuff, all right? But we'll get to that next. So start your whipped cream first, and do that. Whip it up till it's nice and peaky. All righty, so there is our peaky whipped cream, which we've made, I don't know how many times now since we started doing this show. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take it out of here because we're gonna need this bowl for something else. And we're just going to keep this in the fridge and reserve it until we need it later. Okay? Okay, so now it's time for our double boil technique. I got my water simmering there. What I'm going to do is mix my four egg yolks, my espresso or coffee, strong coffee, a little bit of salt, and two tablespoons of the sugar, not all the sugar that the recipe called for. Okay? Oh, stuff to the bottom here. Look at that. Must have been wet. Alrighty, so we're going to mix those things together. And then over a simmering pot, we're going to put this onto our boiler. And we're just going to simmer this until it thickens up, okay? A couple minutes. Keep stirring the whole time, too, because you don't want to just let it sit there uh, and cook. And make sure that the bottom of your bowl is not touching the bottom of the pot or the water, okay? You want to get this to about 160 degrees, so we'll check it in a little bit. But something you got to babysit. I know, I know. I hate to babysit too, but you got to do it. Check my recipe. I stand corrected. Uh, you just whisk, keep whisking this for about a minute or so. It says to about 160 degrees. There's no way this is getting to 160 degrees that fast. But they say to whisk it until it doubles in, in size and volume, which it kind of looks like it did. But I don't know how they expect this to get to 160 that fast. I don't know. Alrighty, and then once it kind of doubles in size and you get to that 160 degrees, you're going to take it off and you're going to take your whole 6 ounce bag of chocolate that I should have opened because I always have such a hard time. Oh, hey, look at that, that one opened. Alrighty, and you want to make sure it has 60 to 72 percent cocoa. So a, a semi-sweet, bittersweet, you know, you're going to dump that right in here into this hot mixture and you're just going to stir this around and it's going to melt pretty quick, okay? As you can see, it's already melting. Whew, that's a hot one. Okay, so you're going to wind up with this, this thick chocolate mixture. You're going to let this stand and just 
stir it every now and then just till it gets to room temperature, okay? In the meantime, we're going to get our bowl ready for the next thing. Okay, our mixer's ready. Cold bowl. We're going to take our two egg whites and we're going to whisk these up, okay? Same thing, till they get peaky. <laughs> That's a word. I'm pointing that phrase. Some people say BAM! I say peaky! <laughs> okay, and then once you see that your egg whites are getting foamy, that's when you're going to add in your last tablespoon of sugar. And now it'll get peaky. Alright. So, our egg whites are peaky. Okay, peaky. So now what you're going to do is you're going to fold these egg whites into, boy, I can't get this stuff off to save my life, into your chocolate mixture, but not all at once. You're going to do about half of it, and then do the other half, okay? So you just want to fold it in, try to be as gentle as possible. Once you have that mixed in your egg whites, you're going to take that reserved uh, whipped cream that you made and you're going to do the same thing and fold that in just till it's incorporated. You don't want to overdo it, okay? Very, very gently just incorporate that. There it is. There's our chocolate mousse. So now I'm just going to put it into some dishes here and we're going to refrigerate that for at least two hours, longer if we feel it needs to be in there longer and then we're going to come back and we're going to taste test this see how it is never made this chocolate mousse before I mean it looks really good it smells really good I'm hoping it is really good <laughs> alrighty so we'll see you in a couple hours when we go to taste test this we're going to have to make some whipped cream I think for the top of this too because chocolate mousse chocolate pudding any of that stuff needs a little whipped cream on top alrighty see you in a couple hours Okay, so you take the rest of that heavy cream that you didn't use and you make some whipped cream. That's what that's for because here's our chocolate mousse and you got to put that right on top. Alrighty, we're ready to give this one a try. Let's see. Hmm. It's very, it's very thick. Not light and airy like you would imagine a mousse to be. It seems... I mean, it's not loose like a like a pudding. It's stiff, but it seems almost fudgy like. But the flavor is spot on. I mean, it's definitely a nice chocolate mousse, just very dense. I don't know if I did something that. Um, I mean, it's light, but it's just it's almost. I'm trying to think of what's the consistency. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's not heavy like a fudge, but I thought, you know, chocolate mousse is supposed to be this light and airy, you know, like whipped cream kind of consistency. But this is a little thicker than that. But its flavor is really, really good. Mm. I like it a lot. Yeah, definitely right on. Alrighty. Chocolate mousse day, everybody. This one actually turned out pretty good. I'm trying to think if there's something I could pipe this into or something. Maybe like a cream puff or something. <laughs> that might be really good. I might have to try that because our cream puffs, if you remember way back in January, came out really good. This might be something to pipe into it. Hmm. I'm going to have to look into that. Alrighty, future show maybe. See you tomorrow, everybody. I think we're going back to dinner tomorrow. Hmm, yeah, I think it's chicken cordon bleu, actually. Alrighty, see you tomorrow.